Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to give you an offseason preview of the NFC East. And obviously, this was the NFL's worst division last year. And it could be argued if any team was really worthy of going to the playoffs. But Washington was that team that did go to the postseason, but they were quickly dismissed. Uh, the football team finished the season one game under 500 and barely had a positive point differential. Their 4.9 yards per play on offense was very near the bottom of the league. But Washington currently has an, a bit of an abundance of salary cap space. I mean, that being said, they need to find a quarterback in free agency, a trade, or from the draft, which will be difficult from where they, they select right now. I mean, the football team is picking 19th in the first round, but there should be some optimism around this team. Um, the Giants were 6-10 and 10 in Joe Judge's first season as head coach, but they gave up 77 more points than they scored in 2020. Uh, New York is pretty much middle of the road in salary cap space and are picking 11th overall. So they have some things to, to work with to get better. Uh, they also will probably be probably make even more spending room after a few key cuts. So they could be busy in the free agent market as well. Um, uh, that, that 11th overall selection might be used on a receiver, maybe a deep threat for Daniel Jones. And New York does get Saquon Barkley back from injury as well. So we'll keep an eye on that offense. Dallas was extremely similar to the Giants and they also only won six games and their point differential was only one point worse than New York's. Uh, the, the Cowboys yard per play differential was noticeably worse than their divisional rivals, though. Uh, Dallas currently has some money to spend this offseason, but both Dak Prescott and Andy Dalton are cu not currently under contract. Uh, as for the draft, Dallas has the 10th pick overall, a good spot to land a top corner or offensive line prospect. Um, once a quarterback situation becomes clear, then I would imagine Dak, Dak Prescott probably returns in some capacity. This offense really needs to be devoted to the defensive side of the ball for the Cowboys. Bringing up the rear in the NFC last year was Philadelphia, who very well could have traded Carson Wentz by the time you've seen this video, actually. Uh, the, the Eagles also have replaced Doug Peterson with Nick Sirianni. Uh, Philadelphia won just four games last year, allowed a half a yard per play more than they produced, and were outscored by 84 points. Uh, the Eagles have the worst salary cap situation in the division by a huge margin, and only New Orleans is in worth, worst cap shape in the whole league as we speak right now. Uh, they will have to move on from several quality players. But with the sixth overall draft pick, the Eagles are in a great spot to add another offensive playmaker presumably for Jalen Hurts, and we'll see how that goes this year. Uh, thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yard Barker.